Well, about the only thing we can do to prepare for the cold weather is uh, shut off the water from onshore, uh, then drain all the water out of uh, the pipes as best we can. And that's basically it. Water onshore for customers will still be on uh, in the bathroom shower building. It's only water coming to the dock that's turned off. Uh, for our customers, uh, we send them an email, the ones that live here long term. Uh, we also post signs out uh, for people to read at strategic places, the dock house, laundry room, bathrooms. Uh, in addition, anyone that I happen to see uh, that I know is on the dock, I'll, I'll inform them in person. Then that way they can fill up their water tanks before we turn it off. Uh, and get what they need because after it's turned off that's it. I've been living on for about a week now. I purchased the boat about a week and a half ago. Uh, I have a house that's right down the road so I'm trying to cut down on costs. i uh, living out the boat at the Buford Marina is a little bit cheaper. Um, uh, as of right now they're shutting off the water so I'm uh, you know pressure washing clean, cleaning everything up now and I'll be bringing a couple cases of water in and uh, blankets, space heaters, a little bit of everything. Hoping uh, for the best and planning for the worst though. Um, that's why I'll make sure I have uh, you know locked down in you know, one area of the boat and uh, make sure I have enough blankets, space heaters, everything else. If it gets too cold then I'll have to probably go stay somewhere else but for now I'm planning on staying here. Uh, this isn't like it is up north where people have to really winterize their boat uh, for the cold weather. Here we have cold weather, it only lasts a day or two. Chances are you don't have to do anything uh, boat-wise except possibly drain your water hose that you have connected. Uh, and that would probably be about it because most cold spells here below freezing don't last more than a couple of days or so.